what your spine surgeon hasn't told you. Did you know there was a study done in 2010 that found people with herniated discs in their low back that received chiropractic care had the same results as those who underwent surgical intervention? Yes, that is True. The study was done by JMPT and it was titled Manipulation or Microdiscectomy for Sciatica, a prospective randomized controlled study. So what that means is we know millions of people each and every year suffer from bulge or herniated discs that cause pain in their low back that can travel down their legs. And far too many people end up going through medications that do not work perhaps injections that do not work, and ultimately end up in surgery. Over 500,000 spinal fusions are performed each year in the United States, and many more than that are laminectomies or what we would call decompressions. But what you may not have heard yet is that this study found that patients who underwent surgical correction The disc was out, pressing on the nerve and chopped away. That is a very mechanical problem. They took people and had them go through that. Then some individuals went through chiropractic care and through the art and science of what we do as chiropractors, they were able to improve that disc, take the pressure off the nerve and find sweet relief. Now, here is the interesting thing about this study that got me really excited. Many patients, maybe they say, well, I don't know about chiropractic. I've tried physical therapy. I've tried medications. I've tried injections. The only thing left for me is the knife. That is also not true. This study actually took individuals that had failed all of those measures, people that had already gone through medications, already gone through physical therapy, already gone through injections, and then put them either into surgery or chiropractic. So if you are somebody out there that maybe has tried therapy, tried injections, and even tried medications and not got the relief you've desired, do not think that surgery is your only Option. Here are a few quotes from this study. These researchers found, quote, these patients must have also failed at least three months of non-operative management, including treatment with analgesics, which is medication, lifestyle modification, physical therapy, massage therapy, and or acupuncture. These researchers also found, quote, Most of the patients who are considered surgical candidates for the treatment of radiculopathy from herniated disc improved with standardized spinal manipulative care to the same degree as those who underwent surgical intervention. Now, here is the thing. There is a time and a place in a very small percentage of individuals where surgery is the best and only option. Here is the beauty of this study is that if you undergo chiropractic care, you have just, as we know now, you have the same opportunity to improve as if you had surgery right off the bat. But here's the catch. If you go through surgery first, any chiropractic care after that is working on a spine that has been altered and or compromised. However, if you try chiropractic care first, and let's say that does not get where you need to be, then you still have surgery as an option down the road. So do not burn those bridges too quickly if you are someone who's suffered from low back pain, from sciatica, or from a nerve root issue. Additionally, these researchers found that 10 to 20% of individuals who go through that microdiscectomy, that surgery, that's, there's a, a 10 to 20% failure rate, and I got a tip for you, that might be a little bit conservative. Those individuals, they are in a tough spot. So if you are somebody that's ultimately failed back surgery syndrome, but if you are somebody who's been suffering again from low back pain, from sciatica, from challenges with the discs and the nerves in your spine, do not dismiss chiropractic care. I know there are a lot of individuals out there that maybe aren't exposed to chiropractic care, 
And we know the story with that. They end up going to their primary care doctor who might not have the best tools for spine-related pain. And a medication script is written. The patient, of course, doesn't get well because they have a mechanical problem, not a medication issue. So the patient goes back having continued issues. The primary care doctor says, why don't you go get an MRI since you didn't get well with the medication? Lo and behold, what do we find? The MRI shows a disc that is bulged or herniated, pressing upon the nerve, causing the pain. That doctor then correctly says, aha, that's the problem. And what happens next but an injection? Load it up with steroids and hope for the best. Many times that is not a permanent solution, and that individual ends up going down that path towards surgical intervention. I want to bring it out there that there is an alternative path, and chiropractic needs to at least be a pit stop on that road. Research like this showing that chiropractic care can succeed at least to the same degree as surgical intervention is extremely important for people to understand because many times they may not be getting this information from their primary care doctor. So there you have it. Absolutely what your spine surgeon may not have told you is that you need to try chiropractic care before entertaining the idea of any type of surgical intervention. It's smart to do. The research proves it, and you will ultimately be better for it. Chiropractic care has been shown to decrease intradiscal pressure, open up those delicate holes, foraminal canals where the nerves travel out, and help get millions of people well from injuries to the discs and to the nerves. So make sure if you are somebody that has heard that an injection or that surgery might be in your future, be sure to try out chiropractic care. Or if you have a loved one, a relative, a friend who has been guided down that path, be sure that you bring up chiropractic care to them. It is definitely in their best interest. So there you have it. That is what your spine surgeon may not have told you. Feel free to comment, like, share. I would love to get a bunch of engagement on this and make sure that we get the word out. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you very, very soon.